NASA plans to send a giant balloon the size of a football field into the stratosphere to study how stars form. Here is everything you need to know about Astros. Plus, a few other unconventional space balloon projects. NASA has begun work on an ambitious new project that will carry a cutting-edge telescope high into the stratosphere on a balloon. A gondola beneath the balloon will carry an instrument to measure the motion and speed of gas around newly formed stars, and a lightweight telescope optimized to capture far infrared light. The mission is called ASTHROS, which is short for Astrophysics Stratospheric Telescope for High Spectral Resolution Observations at sub-millimeter wavelengths. It is tentatively planned to launch in December 2023 from Antarctica. When fully inflated with helium, the balloon will be about 150 meters wide, roughly the size of a football stadium. In order to observe far infrared light, which is blocked by Earth's atmosphere, Astros will need to reach an altitude of about 40 kilometers, roughly four times higher than commercial airliners fly. Managed by NASA's Jet Propulsion Laboratory, the mission will observe four main targets, two star-forming regions in the Milky Way, the galaxy Messier 83, and TW Hydrae, a young star surrounded by a wide disk of dust and gas where planets may be forming. Quoted in a statement on NASA's website, JPL engineer and Astros project manager Jose Siles said balloon missions like Astros are higher risk than space missions but yield high rewards at modest cost. With Astros, we're aiming to do astrophysics observations that have never been attempted before. The mission will pave the way for future space missions by testing new technologies and providing training for the next generation of engineers and scientists. You may have heard of the company that wants to charge more than a hundred thousand dollars to send tourists into space, more on that in a minute. But first check out what happened when this next man tried to go up, up and away DIY style. Buckled in by a dream and tied to 120 helium balloons, then 26-year-old Daniel Boria dared to ask the age-old question, how high can one man fly? Well, turns out about 14,000 feet in that contraption. On July 5th of 2015, Boria hopped into his green lawn chair and let the rainbow-colored industrial-sized balloons carry him up, up and away. It looked like something out of a movie, and in this case, it actually was. Boria's idea was inspired by Disney and Pixar's animated film, Up. Boria flew so high, he claims to have seen a Boeing 747 pass underneath him. A frightening thought, considering air traffic control found out about the stunt the same way everyone else on the ground did. Yikes! Boria originally had plans of parachuting into the Calgary Stampede chuck wagon races, but admits he wasn't strapped into his personal flying machine very securely. So, when the untamable wind started blowing him off course, Boria decided to bail out early, just to be safe. He expected a soft landing, but awaiting him on the ground were the flashing blue and red lights of authorities waiting to arrest him. On March 17th, at his sentencing hearing, a judge called Boria's stunt unconscionably stupid and handed out a $5,000 fine, with an extra $1,500 tacked on for a victim impact fee. He's also been ordered to donate $20,000 to a local veteran's food bank. Considering the stunt ran him about $10,000 to execute and was partially a marketing gimmick to promote his cleaning company, it may have actually paid off, and at the very least, left him with the thrill ride of a lifetime. What's next for the balloonatic? Believe it or not, his eyes are staring even higher in the sky, with a mission plan to take his lawn chair to space, roughly 140,000 feet up. Talk about tasting rare air. This guy's nuts. Flat Earthers, it's time to break the piggy bank. A new company is hoping to send willing customers into the stratosphere where they would spend two hours relaxing at a space bar while observing the Earth's curvature. No, really, this is how they plan to do it. A new company called Space Perspective wants to send tourists and research payloads up into the stratosphere in a pressurized capsule elevated by a large balloon, according to Space.com. The capsule is called the Spaceship Neptune and it can hold up to nine people, including the pilot. The capsule has large windows from which passengers will be able to observe Earth's curvature. It will also contain a bathroom and a bar. It will take the spaceship Neptune roughly two hours to reach its maximum altitude of 30,000 meters or about 100,000 feet after taking off from the old shuttle landing facility at NASA's Kennedy Space Center on Florida's Space Coast. The capsule will be suspended by a large hydrogen-filled balloon. Passengers will spend two hours suspended in the stratosphere. Their descent back into Earth will take another two hours. The passengers would then be picked up by a recovery boat waiting for them at sea. 
A price for the ticket hasn't been confirmed, but Space.com cites Space Perspective CEOs Jane Pointer and Tabor McCallum as saying the first tickets could cost around $125,000. Totally affordable. Google's internet balloons have taken off in Kenya. Alphabet Inc. has launched its stratospheric balloons to broadcast Wi-Fi signals over Kenya in their first ever commercial operation, according to Project Loon's chief executive officer, Alistair Westgarth. Project Loon has previously tested its floating cell towers to provide emergency signal services in Peru after the 2019 earthquake and in Puerto Rico after Hurricane Maria. Writing in Medium, Westgarth says automated machines could launch a balloon to 60,000 feet every 30 minutes. The balloons carry flight controls, antennas, and solar panels, and they can stay in the air for 100 days at a time. Each vehicle has a claimed coverage footprint of over 11,000 square kilometers, about 200 times that of a cell phone tower. The vehicles will allow users to access voice and video calls, WhatsApp, email, web browsing, and other services. The balloons feature machine learning that could help them reposition themselves, beam internet to other vehicles to maintain the network, and service users on the ground. According to Westgarth, the vehicles have connected 35,000 unique users since testing began. According to Project Loon, the stratospheric vehicles will become a new layer of telecom systems between space and ground-based devices. This is anticipated to expand the internet and mobile coverage around the world. Giant balloons are now delivering mobile access to hurricane-ravaged Puerto Rico, thanks to a team-up between Google's parent company Alphabet and AT&T. More than 68% of cell sites in Puerto Rico are still out of service. To help restore communications, Project Loon has deployed giant balloons, which use the AT&T network to provide emergency internet service on the island. The service is limited to those with LTE-enabled phones and supports text messaging, email, and basic web browsing. The balloons float 20 kilometers up in the stratosphere, providing service to a roughly 5,000 square kilometer area. Solar panels power daytime operations, while also charging a battery for nighttime use. Though still an experimental technology, Project Loon proved effective in early 2017 when it provided basic connectivity to flood-affected areas in Peru. For $75,000, Worldview can lift a passenger 30 kilometers into space by a hot air balloon. The balloon is propelled by 1.1 cubic meters of helium and guided by a steerable parachute. Six passengers and two pilots are transported within a pressurized capsule. After a 90-minute ascent to its peak height, the balloon will remain in the stratosphere for another two hours before the capsule drifts back down to Earth. At 30 kilometers, the balloon is over twice the altitude reached by conventional airplanes, but it is still far from the outer space where weightlessness is experienced. The initial launch is expected to take place at Spaceport America in New Mexico. Other companies such as Virgin Galactic and x have also presented similar plans for space tourism. For more news animations and explainers, hit the subscribe and bell button to join the Tomo News family. Thanks for watching.